Hi, this is one of my popular videos. I guess it had over 9 million views currently and just about 3,000 comments. So I thought I'd take a minute to address some of the things here. I'm not really sure why this was so popular because I, I feel like I have a lot more satisfying content than this. But um, this is an American Merino sheep. That uh, swing that I'm using, that's a back sling. It's a homemade back sling. A lot of people asked about that. The rancher helped me build that and then that's just a horse cinch with some merino wool wrapped around it and then a garage door spring and it really helps my back wow these are american merino sheep they're a finer wool sheep and that's why they are raised is uh, for the wool they're also raised for meat as well but um, their wool is much finer than the rambolets and the targhees these American Merinos don't have quite as many wrinkles as the Australian Merinos. I like them because they're kind of a medium-sized sheep. Now you can just see how much wool is on the neck here. Look at that. That's what I love. You got one pass and it looks like an entire fleece comes off that neck. Now this is making the sheep a little uncomfortable. It might have poked her just a little bit, but that's why I'm just taking my time. It's They have very soft skin and very soft wool, and they are very easy to cut when you're shearing. So I have... It's important to have the right gear on, the right kind of comb. And sometimes, depending on the condition of the sheep, you know what shape they're in, you'll choose different types of gear that goes over it without cutting them. Because if you use the wrong comb, it's definitely not going to go good on these. Now, these sheep typically produce, let's say, 8 to 12 pounds of wool on average. And it's bringing anywhere from like 2 to $5 a pound. A lot of the other sheep that you see us shear, you know, the Rambolets, they probably bring about a buck fifty to two dollars a pound. On these little ridges that I leave behind, we're taught that you want to keep your comb flat on the skin and make one pass. If you go back over the skin again, you're making what's called a second cut, and they do not want that in the main fleece. So that's why you'll see us leave little patches on here and there. But hope that answers a few questions. Thanks for watching. Hit the follow and uh, leave a comment. Talk to you soon.